from Faux Fur Crochet Finds. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super quick and simple little bunny. I absolutely love this bunny. I think it's a super cute little Easter gift for any newborn or toddler. And one of my favorite features about it is this little tail in the back. I think it's just such a cute little addition and it makes it look so realistic. And the small and medium size is available in my website and in my Etsy shop. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the extra small size. And I personally love also adding roses to this little bunny. You can do that if you want, and I'll put a link to in the description box below to um, make the rose and the leaf. And so let's get started. All right, so the supplies that you'll need today are safety eyes and I'm using 12 millimeter um, like just basic normal safety eyes and then I hot glue the backs of them so you'll need safety eyes you'll need two stitch markers and I am using um, just two locking stitch markers you will need scissors a 10 millimeter crochet hook a six millimeter crochet hook and a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will need a darning needle. There we go, now it's in focus. And you will need some stuffing. And just uh, polyfill, regular polyfill stuffing is all that you'll need. And you'll need more than this, of course. I'm just doing this because that's what fits into my camera lens. And now the other materials that you'll need are your yarn and so this is the yarn that I'm using I am using two balls of fable fur um, in, in the color and desert and you'll use about one and a little bit more but you'll need two balls yeah I'm going to use um, I'm going to use um, swish worsted in the color white and you do not need much at all of this yarn um, you can see I've used some of it already and there'll be plenty left you will need um, swish worsted in the colors blossom heather and frosting for the little um, pink nose that's what these two are for and if you want uh, to make a rose to put onto your bunny um, I will put that in the cards on how to make a rose and leaf my tutorials for those and so you can go check them out over on my YouTube channel all right so to begin you're going to take your white um, yarn and I'm going to scoot all this away you'll need your white yarn and your six millimeter crochet hook and to begin, I'm going to take off the wrap label and you're going to use both strands of yarn. So you're going to want to get the, um, the strand from the center and from the outside. And then you're going to make a magic circle. And to make a magic circle, you're going to put the yarn at the base of your um, pinky and then wrap it around going towards the front and then take this and wrap around going towards the back like that so you make this X shape then you're going to flip your um, your finger to the top and you're going to go under the first two strands which is consider it just one strand and then you're going to go over and grab the back two strands which we once again should just consider as like one strand. And now you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet six into the magic circle. So to make a single crochet, you're going to insert into the magic circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's just your single crochet. So you're going to do that five more times, so insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Well, there's four loops, but consider it two. So 
insert, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through all four loops or two sets of loops, we'll call them. And I'll make my six single crochet, five and six. And now you're going to um, pull on the um, strand to tighten up or close your big magic circle. And you're going to slip stitch to join to the first single crochet of this round. So I'm going to do slip stitch. You're going to stitch. So single crochet increase in each stitch. So insert into the first stitch and make a single crochet. And then you're going to do that into the same stitch again. So two single crochet into each stitch. And I will um, do that in each stitch and you should end up with a total of 12 stitches. I am Let's see, it looks like I'm on four, uh, no, uh, 10, 11 and 12. For round three, Enter into the first single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, just doing a single crochet. I'm gonna put a stitch marker in here to help remind me just where the first stitch is because now that we're working in a round, we don't have like a super distinctive spot. And in the next stitch, you're going to single crochet increase. So single crochet, in the first stitch and then single crochet increase in the next stitch. So just doing two single crochets into one stitch. Now you're going to single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet increase in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that in each of the stitches. And I am almost done so I'll just do this on camera real quick. And you should end up with 18 stitches. So, uh, eighteen. Okay, now that I just finished round three, you're going to chain one. To make a chain, you're going to yarn over and pull through, and you're going to skip the stitch where you have your stitch marker, and go into the stitch after that. So you can see my stitch marker is in this stitch and you're gonna skip that stitch and go into the next single crochet stitch of the last row and make a single crochet now. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to make a chain again and skip the next stitch and go into the stitch after that. And you're gonna do that in each stitch. So I'm just going to uh, continue to do that. And my ball is getting in the way. Um, I am almost done. So in the last stitch, you're gonna do the same. And you should end up, if you have 18 stitches, you should end up with um, uh, right back where uh, your, your stitch marker uh, was. And you can see you the you don't want to go into the next stitch because that's where the chain one is. So now I'm going to take my scissors and cut my yarn and you have can finished you have finished the bunny um I like to call muzzle and you're just going to tie off so yarn over and pull through. Now um you're going to take your um fable fur and your 10 millimeter crochet hook. And we are going to begin to work um, with the Fable Fur. Begin where um, your last stitch was. So you can see this is my bunny muzzle. And you can see that right here is where we did our last um, single crochet stitch and you're going to flip it now into the inside. So you're going to be looking at the inside and now you're going to insert into that chain one space right here. 
So the last chain one space you just created, the most recent chain one space you created, and you're gonna insert into there, take your yarn and um, leave yourself a little bit of a tail to sew um, uh, your weave in your end, and then you're going to just yarn over and pull through and chain one. And now to begin, you are going to um, single crochet into the first three chain spaces. So you're going to single crochet into that same chain space that you just made um, your chain. So single crochet into there. And I'm gonna put a stitch marker. You really wanna have a stitch marker for this part. Um, you can um, not have it, but just really helps. So I'm gonna put my stitch marker in my first single crochet. I'm going to single crochet in the next chain space and in the next chain space. And now you're going to half double crochet increase in the next two chain spaces. So you're going to, um, in the next chain space, do a half double crochet increase. So yarn over, insert into the chain, the chain space, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And you're gonna do that one more time into that same chain space, that's what it increases. And then I'm going to do that into the next one. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then you're gonna do that one more time. And now you're going to single crochet in the last four chain spaces. So one, two, three, and four. And now you're going to slip stitch to join. So you're going to slip stitch the first single crochet that you made, and that's where your stitch marker should be. So make a slip stitch. To make a slip stitch, you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. You're going to chain one, and now you're going to single crochet in the first three stitches to begin round two. So um, single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and in the next stitch, so single crochet three. Now in the next four stitches, you're going to do a half double crochet increase. So you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and you're going to do that in the next four stitches. So two, three, and four. So you're doing half double crochet increase. So two half double crochets into the one into one stitch. And now in the last four stitches, you're going to single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. And now you're going to slip stitch to join and you should have 15 stitches. You are going to chain one and single crochet in the first five stitches. So one, and you wanna move your stitch marker once again, otherwise it'll uh, come back to bite you. Two, three, four, and five. And now in the next four stitches, you're going to half double crochet increase. So. Um, do an increase like you've been doing. So I'm on three and and four stitches that you're going to have to crochet increase into. And now you're going to single crochet in the last six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then now you're going to slip stitch to join and you should have 19 stitches. Okay, now for rounds four through eight, you're going to chain one and single crochet in each stitch around. So um, just single crochet into each stitch 
and you should have 19 stitches and slip stitch to join when you're done with the row and then chain one to begin the next row and I will meet you back once you are done with round eight. All right, so I just finished um, the round eight and so now I'm gonna slip stitch to join and chain one. Now for round nine, you're going to single crochet in the first five stitches. So one, and move your stitch marker, of course. Two, three, four, and five. And now you're going to single crochet two together over the next eight stitches or four times. Hopefully that makes sense. But I'll show you real quick how to do it. So you're going to, in the next stitch, you're just going to insert, yarn over, pull through. And now you're going to go into the next stitch and just insert, yarn over, pull through. And now you have three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. I'll show you how to do that again. So you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and the next, and now in the next stitch, you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three loops on your hook. Now I just went over four stitches. I just um, decreased four stitches down to two stitches. So I'm going to do that two more times. So you want to now have four stitches instead of eight stitches. So I'm going to do that real quick two more times. And now you're going to single crochet in the last six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you're going to slip stitch to join and chain one. For round nine, you should have 15 stitches. Now for round 10, you should chain one and single crochet in the first five stitches. So um, make a single crochet in the first stitch, move your stitch marker and work in single crochet in the first five stitches. So I'm one, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to single crochet two together in the next four stitches or two times. So you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and then into the next stitch, you're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all three loops. And you're going to do that one more time. So insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now you're going to single crochet in the last six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you're going to slip stitch to join and you should have 13 stitches. And now you're going to tie off. You have completed your head. And I'm going to just snip my yarn and yarn over and pull through. And there you have your quick and simple little bunny head. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what your bunny head should look like. And now you're going to um, put your eyes on and stuff your head. I hot glue my eyes. So put your eyes on, hot glue them, sew in your tails and stuff your head. And I will meet you back once I have completed all of that. This is what my bunny is looking like. Super cute. And you wanna have the eyes quite a ways apart. Um, I don't know, probably like, well, it's about my finger from front to back, but I know that's not super helpful. And then I did about four rows up and you ha you'll you definitely need to or want to <laughs> um, hot glue the eyes in. Um, I just feel like it gives a lot of security for um, kids because kids will probably more than likely be using these and um, uh, with how big of a hook we use for this fur. Otherwise they would just like pop right in and out. So now we're gonna begin the body and to make the body, you will once again use your 10 millimeter crochet hook 
And now I'm going to start using a second stitch marker. So you will need two stitch markers and then your Fable Fur. And to begin, you're going to make a slip knot. So I'm going to scoot the head over just right over there. And you're going to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you're going to take the strand of yarn and put, bring it to the bottom of your pinky. And you're going to wrap, then hold that. Then you're going to take your working strand of yarn and wrap it around your finger twice. Then now you're going to, let's see, I'll try to hold these two a little ways apart. You're going to take the back loop and bring it over into the front. And now you're going to take the new back loop and bring it over and down and then tighten. And you're going to chain two. So one and two. And now you're going to insert your hook into the head and you're going to um, close off the head while you're beginning to make the body. So to do that, you are going to look at your eyes and look at the placement of them and then pinch it so it's right down. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's my eyes and I'm going to take my head now and go directly back and pinch and then I'm going to flip around and start in this corner and then work towards this corner. And if you're right-handed, you're going to start in this corner and work towards this corner. So I'm going to feel for my, so you, when you pinched it and made sure it was there, then you're going to feel for your first two stitches. So you're going to take the bottom and the top of a head, the head, and I'm going to insert into two stitches and make a single crochet. So I chain two. Now I'm going to insert into the corner of the head and now I'm going to make a single crochet. And you're going to single crochet um, a total of seven stitches across the head. So that was number one. And now you're going to kind of feel for the next stitch and then make a single crochet and feel for the next stitch and then work that stitch. So you're going to take the bottom and the top and you're going to just kind of keep feeling for the stitches and you will, um, you should get about seven stitches. So let's see how many I'm at. One, two, oh, um, seven stitches across the head, not including the chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can feel that I have a last stitch, so I'm good. And now I'm going to chain two. So one and two. And you should have seven single crochets across the back of the head and then two chains on each, si each side. So it should be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And now you're going to turn your work and chain one. Now you're going to work a single crochet increase into the second chain from your hook. So your loop on your hook does not count as a stitch. You're going to skip the first um, chain and you kind of feel for it. And then in the second chain, you're going to single crochet two into that second chain. So one single crochet. You'll want to put a stitch marker in here. And then you're going to single crochet again into that same chain. And now you're going to single crochet into the next chain and across the head to the last chain. So that should be nine single crochets across here. And then in the last chain, you will make a single crochet increase. So I'm just going to work real quick and get to the other side of the head. Okay, so now I'm to, I worked nine stitches across and now I'm going to, in the last 
chain, you're going to just do a single crochet increase like you did on your first um, on your first chain. So now you're going to work that in your last chain. So just single crochet two into that chain. And now you're going to chain one and turn. You should have 13 stitches for row two. Now for row three, you're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. And now I'm going to grab another stitch marker to be able to mark my place. You're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. And then you're going to single crochet in the next 11 stitches and then single crochet increase in the last stitch and you should end up with 15 stitches. So I'm gonna work that with you all right now real quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now 11. And now into the last stitch, you're gonna single crochet increase, and you should have a total of 15 stitches. Now you're gonna chain one and turn. And now for row four, you're gonna do basically the exact same thing as row three. You're just getting more stitches in between the increases. So you're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. And now you're going to single crochet in the next 13 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and 13, and now you're going to single crochet increase in the last stitch. So make a single crochet increase. And now you're going to chain one, and for your last increase row, you're going to do basically the exact same thing with just 15 stitches between the increases. So I'll do that again with you. So you're going to single crochet increase in the first stitch. Move your stitch marker, of course. And now you're going to single crochet in the next uh, 15 stitches. And then you will single crochet increase in the last stitch. And now you should have 19 stitches at the end of this round. So I'm almost to the other side. And now I'm going to single crochet increase into the last stitch. And now you will want to um, chain one and turn. Now for row six through 21, you're just gonna single crochet in each stitch across. You're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Now, one thing you're gonna wanna do is move your stitch marker up one spot. So you just turn and chain one. Now you're going to want to move your, your stitch marker up to the most recent single crochet you made. Now you haven't started row six. This is from row five. So you want to put your stitch marker right there and you want to leave your stitch marker um, right here on the other side too, because this is where you're going to put your legs. Um, once you're done with the body. So you're gonna wanna leave your stitch markers um, at in the last stitch of row five on both sides. And that will make it super easy when you're trying to put your legs on. Now, if you want to, you can always grab two more stitch markers and work um, with those um, as you continue to make your body. And that's totally optional. But you will want to leave two stitch markers on the last stitch of row five. All right, so now I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, let you crochet rows six through 21, and I will meet you back once I have finished row 21. All right, so I just finished um, the body of this um, bunny, and 
Now I'm gonna show you how to make the legs. So you can see there's the head. There's the head and then here's where I'm at. So I'm going to um, now show you how to make the legs. So to, to make the legs, you're going to chain one and turn. And now you're going to single crochet four um, into the next four stitches. So you're going to single crochet into the, each of the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And now you're going to chain one and turn. And you're just going to do this for um, seven rows. Rows 22 through 28, you're just going to single crochet in um, each of the four stitches. This is my the back of my bunny. So the head is up here and then it's working back. And so this is the back of my bunny. I just made this leg. Now I'm gonna go to this corner and um, just work on making the other leg. Um, I'm going to just yarn over and pull through and chain one. And I'm gonna not do this on camera because uh, you just saw me do the other leg. And so you're just gonna single crochet four across and then do seven rows. And I'll meet you back once you I've gotten this back leg done. All right, so I just finished um, this second leg. And so now I have two legs. And now I'm going to um, start working on the third and fourth leg. And to do that, you're going to flip it to your head. So here's my head, as you can see. And I'm going to work on this side. This is where my stitch marker is. And you're going to insert into this um, spot where exactly where your stitch marker is. So you're going to take your hook, insert into that um, to that uh, row where your stitch marker is, and you're going to take your yarn and yarn over and pull through and chain one, and then single crochet in the in the four stitches on this side. So one two and three and four and now you're going to chain one and turn and you're just going to do seven rows of making this paw again um, so i'm going to just let you um, make this paw off camera and i'll meet you back once i'm done with paw number three okay so i just finished um leg or paw number three and now I'm going to do the exact same thing on um, leg number four. And so you're just gonna work four stitches across and do that for seven rows. And I'll meet you back once I've um, paw number four done. All right, so I just finished this um, paw, paw number four, and now we have um, our four paws. And I know it's hard to see on this camera, but, um, our lovey is getting much closer to done. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna tie off all of these ends and then um, meet me back and we will put the finishing touches on this bunny. All right, so I just finished tying in all the ends and now I'm gonna take out the two stitch markers as we really don't need them anymore. And so now for the last thing that you're gonna do with this body, you're gonna basically do an edging around all of the body of this um, bunny and so to begin you're going to look at your head and you're going to flip your head to the bottom side and begin working um, in the corner of its neck so you're going to begin right here and if you're right-handed you're going to start on the left side and if you're left-handed you're going to start on the right side insert into the neck so the kind of the right next to the head I don't know if you guys can see that. And you're going to wrap your hook around and chain one. And now you're going to just single crochet in each um, of the uh, stitches or rows. And I'm just working up the side of this leg. And then once you 
reach the top of each of the legs, you're going to single crochet increase in the corner. You're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to half double crochet into the last stitch and then single crochet into the same stitch to kind of make your corner complete. Now why I like to do this is just to kind of make it, um, give it a little bit of a round paw instead of kind of a square. And you wouldn't really have to do that, but I just, um, personal preference, I like to do that. I think it makes it look a whole lot cuter. And so now you're just getting single crochet in the rest of your stitches and then once you reach the top uh, leg part you're just going to single crochet in the increase in the corner half double crochet double crochet half double crochet and single crochet into the other corner and you're just going to continue to do that in um, each uh, so single crochet in each stitch and then the corners um, do what I said and you're just going to end up right back here on the other neck uh, other side of the neck and I'll meet you back once I have reached that side. Alrighty, so I just finished um, going around the body and now I'm back to the, um, to the neck or right where the head is. And so now I'm just going to um, slip stitch into the um, neck and uh, tie off. So cut my yarn and yarn over and pull through and there you have it, your body is completely done. Now the only things left are a tail for um, the bunny and its ears. Now I'm gonna first show you how to do its tail. And um, in last week's video, and I'll link this in the cards, um, I showed you how to make uh, the uh, little crocheted pom-pom or ball. And the smallest size that I showed you is the size that um, is the size that is supposed to be for this um, bunny. And so I'm just going to refer you to, back to that video and have you make that. And then I will show you now how to sew this bunny tail onto the back uh, of the bunny. I'm going to just insert into a little bit of this gray fur and you kind of want to not go too far because um, I'm using white fur, uh, white fur to sew this tail together. And then you're just going to insert into your bobble and I'm going to insert into the corner and then I'm just going to sew, keep stitching around and I'm gonna leave that tail so we can sew that together. And I'm just gonna go basically at its four corners and um, you can see I'm working on the other corner now. And I'm gonna go into that corner. There you go, tighten. And now I'm just gonna go into about the last corner that I haven't gone into and just uh, basically sewing the base of it on. And there you have it, a super cute and little, super cute and simple little tail. I think this adds so much, I'm gonna do it one more time right here. I think this adds so much cuteness that uh, I can't imagine a bunny without this little adorable tail. So now I'm just going to tie off and I like to, I'm a lover of just knotting it off and then snipping the yarn. So I'm going to just make a knot. I like to just snip the yarn and then kind of hide it under the pom-pom. And now I'm going to bring you to the front of this bunny and we are going to finish, work on finishing up this little bunny head. To make its ears, you can make the floppy ears or the pointy ears. And I'm going to show you how to make the pointy ears first, and then I'll show you how to make the floppy ears. Okay, so to begin to make the pointy ears, I'm going to scoot this little bunny over here. Take your gray yarn and your six millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna make a slip knot, and you're going to wrap your 
yarn around your finger twice, take the back, bring it to the front, now take the new back strand and bring it all the way over and down. And now I'm going to chain four, so one, two, three, and four, and you're going to double crochet in the third chain from hook and in the next stitch. So uh, the loop on your hook, once again, does not count as your uh, a chain. You're going to skip the first chain and then skip the second chain and then go into the third chain. And you're going to sink double crochet into the third chain. So to make a double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to do, um, in the next stitch, you're going to double crochet two. So now you're going to chain two and turn, and you're going to double crochet increase in each stitch. So uh, double crochet increase, and just that means just doing two double crochets into um, both of these stitches. So you should end up with four stitches now. And now I'm going to chain two and turn. And for rows three and four, you're going to double crochet in each stitch across. So I'm just going to do this real quick on camera. Um, so just double crochet in each stitch across, and you should have four stitches. That's row three. Now here's row four. Oh, okay. So I'm almost done with row four. Alrighty, so now that I'm done with row four, I'm going to chain two and turn, and I'm going to double crochet two together in each stitch. So I'm going to decrease, and to do that, I will yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and now into the next stitch, I'm going to yarn over, insert, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and now you have three loops on your hook, or you should have three loops on your hook, and now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops, and you're going to do that in the next two stitches, so doing the same decrease, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and now you're going to chain two and turn, and you should have two stitches for that last row. And so now for row six, you're going to double crochet two together in the remaining two stitches. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and you're going to yarn over and pull through. And now you have completed your pointy ear. And now I'm just gonna have you um, back up the video and make a second pointy ear and I'll meet you back once you are done with that. All right, so I just completed my second uh, outer ear and now I'm going to make the inner ears. Now to make the inner ears, all you're gonna do is just use a smaller crochet hook. So now you're gonna bring out your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and your um, cream yarn. Now I think I forgot to mention this in the supplies, but um, you're going to need uh, Fable Fur in the color Esbar, and I'll put all the links to the yarn I used, of course, in the description box so you can find them. But you're going to just make the exact same thing as the outer ears using a smaller hook and your cream yarn. Alrighty, so I just finished um, tying in the ends, uh, the top ends of these ears, and I'm going to just whip stitch this ear together, and I'll start on camera, and then I'll let you um, finish off camera, and to do this, you're just going to uh, put your uh, yarn on your darning needle, and go into the whites, and then go into the gray, and you're just going to whip stitch it, it's super simple. Um, or, okay, so I just went through that, and now I'm just going to go down and through here, and down and into the gray, and just kind of keeping going up and down, um, and I will meet you back once I'm done with sewing uh, both of these ears together. Alright, so I just finished my two bunny ears, and I 
um, made a knot to tie off. Now I recommend making a knot because what you're gonna do now is take the gray yarn and I like to make kind of like a little bit of a sturdy base for my bunny ears to sew onto. So I like to just take the outer edge of the gray and the outer edge of the gray on the other side and kind of pinch the base of the ears. I just feel like it gives it more of a realistic uh, bunny look. And um, of course we're always going for cute and realistic. So I'm just gonna go back through that. There you go. Now you're going to want to just sew them onto the head. And I just go under a few stitches and then into the ear. But you can see there's its eyes and there's where its ear is gonna be. There. And now I'm just going to go on the other side into the bunny ear. And you'll kind of have to play with it yourself because I don't know how you like to sew your stuff on, but this is how I like it. And now I'm going to um, just do the exact same thing for the other side. So you're gonna wanna just pinch the base again. And now I'm just going to sew this base onto this uh, ear. And I'll meet you back once you're done with that. All right, so now you can see this is how my bunny is looking. Super cute. And now I'm going to show you how to pinch the eyes. And so you're just going to take a strand, a piece of strand from your gray yarn and snip it off. And you're just going to thread your darning needle and um, you're going to go into the corner. So you, looking at the eye, you're going to go right here on the right side of the eye. Then you're going to come out on the left side of the this eye or yeah and I just like this because again it's a realistic cute addition to a bunny and I feel like it just adds a lot of um, cuteness and authenticity and now I'm going to go down here and you're just going to kind of want to play around with it you'll decide how you like it I personally like mine kind of pulled really tight like that. All right, so I just tied off yarn to pinch the eye and now I'm going to real quick show you how to make the nose. Now to make the nose, you're gonna once again need your um, red hook. You're gonna wanna grab your light pink and you're going to, um, let's see if I can find it, here we go. You're going to um, chain four, so make a slip knot. I think you guys probably know how to make a slip knot by this point. And chain four. One, two, three, and four. And now you're going to single crochet in the second chain from hook. And in the next, um, and in each of the next stitches, so, or next chains. And now flipping to the bottom of your work, you're going to half, okay, so I just single crochet three. Now flipping to the bottom, you're going to half double crochet into that same chain space that you just worked into. And then you're going to double crochet and half double crochet. And then you're going to slip stitch to your first single crochet to join, uh, tie off. So you leave yourself a nice long tail and yarn over and pull through. And there you have a little bunny nose. Now I'm going to sew, uh, tie off this tail real quick. And then I'll show you how I sew on the bunny nose. So now you're just going to tie off. Okay, now you're going to grab your, um, longer tail and your bunny again. You're going to go right to where its nose is. The center magic circle, you're going to just go right above that center magic circle that you created. And you're just going to grab a little bit of the muzzle and then the outer stitches. And you're just gonna go up and down 
um, to sew on this little bunny nose. So you're just going to keep going up and down and you reach back to the side where you began. Now I'm going to grab my dark pink yarn and just take a little bit of the yarn. You're, you don't need a lot, just um, a nice long tail, like about that long. And now I'm going to um, grab my journey needle. You're going to go up and go to this mi middle magic circle. And now you're going to go into the middle of your pink nose. And then you're going to go out to the corner, making kind of a Y shape. So you went up and made a, a line going up. Now you're going to go from this side down to the middle again. And then you're going to go to the other side right here. And then you're going to go back into the middle. And now you're going to go down to the bottom back where you've begun. Uh, just tie off. And then you can kind of uh, push in the tail and no one will ever know. And then you're going to just take this uh, light pink one, which you might have already tied off on, and just tie that off real quick. And I'm just going to go down and through here and down to the back. And there you have it, a super quick and simple little bunny to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see all of your makes. Please tag me when you're done with the bunny and I would love to see it. Thank you so much for making this super quick and simple little bunny along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make a new video every week on modern faux fur crochet patterns.